you're working a nine to five, real estate is your side hustle, and you may be brand new or you may be closing a deal or two here and there, but you wanna know when is the, the right time for me to fire my boss and go into real estate full time. You don't wanna leave too soon. You don't wanna leave that full time job too soon because that can hurt you financially. You also don't wanna stay there too long because that can hurt your business in the long run. So you wanna find that sweet spot on when is it the best time to fire your boss and in this video I'm gonna explain the exact steps you need to take and the right time for you to transition into becoming a full-time real estate agent and let's just get started and let's talk about okay you've been doing real estate part-time you haven't been able to give it your all you might have stumbled across a couple clients here and there you may have gotten lucky because a family member needed a sell or a family needed a buy or one of your friends that you used to work with asked you to help them with real Real estate and so you got in a few deals here and there just from that but here's the problem that I see with most agents that are stuck as part-time agents is that they're making this money and then they're spending it on liabilities they keep spending it on let's say a vacation or they spend it on a new car there's not buying their time back something that you need to focus on is buying your time back and buying your freedom from your full-time job so instead of buying liabilities figure out how how you could build an asset and build a wealth. And so how you do that, having a full-time job and wanting to get into real estate is you gotta ask yourself this question is how much wealth do I currently have now? And what is wealth's definition? And I'm a big Robert Kiyosaki fan and I'm a big believer in what he teaches. In his book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, he explains how wealth is defined. And I can explain it to you right here. Wealth is defined as the number of days you can survive without working and still maintain your standard of living. So let's break that down into numbers. Let's say you close and get lucky on a deal and you close on a deal and you make a $20,000 commission, okay? And that's all your savings. You've been living paycheck to paycheck, but you have $20,000 now saved up and your expenses are 5,000. So if you have $20,000 saved up and you have 5,000 in expenses, wealth for you equals four months. You have four months of free Freedom to maintain your standard of living without having to worry about working another job. So here is the thing that you need to build is you got to ask yourself not how much money do I have to make in order to quit? You have to ask yourself, okay, how much wealth do I have built right now? And if you use this formula where you take your wealth in months equals your savings or whatever you have saved and divide that by your monthly expenses, that's how much wealth you currently have. Now it's your job to build your wealth in time so if you can save your money and not buy liabilities and buy assets which an asset can be yourself the asset is you building your business and that takes me to you're buying your time you're buying your freedom you're not sitting there at your job clocking in and wasting time there you are actually focused on okay how can I get my time back how can I get my time back from the job that I'm sitting at and wasting my time at this is how you either close a few deals here and there, but then once you do and you figure out, okay, I have six months, say you have six months of wealth and time saved up, that means that it's time for you to go all in on your business and make that decision. Okay, you may take a leave of absence, you may work shorter hours, but within that six months, it is your duty to master the business in real estate, mastering becoming a great salesperson, a great real estate agent, and understanding the market. These six months you should take all your time to do open houses do social media do all your lead generation tactics and go all in I promise you this this is exactly like going to the gym once you learn how to master the business and you start doing the work you won't ask okay how am I gonna get clients because that's what everybody always says okay where's my next client gonna come from but if you put all your focus all in on mastering the business doing the lead generation doing your open houses whatever it is it's just like I like to use this for an example is going to the gym you are going to go to the gym you are going to work out for one day you're not gonna work out for just for one day you're gonna work out and know that you're gonna work out for six months and see okay you know you're not gonna see results in your first day your first week or maybe even month but six months of going in all in on it at the gym putting in the work doing the proper techniques doing the lifts and doing whatever it is you know 
know in six months from now, there will be a change, not only in your body, but also in your mindset. And this is the exact same thing with real estate and your business. You go all in and you put in the repetition, you put in the work, and I guarantee you, you will see consistent deals. This is how you get a consistent 10 to 20K a month or $50,000 a month or $100,000 a month. It's because you've mastered the business, you've put in the time, you put in the work, and this is exactly what I wanna tell you is you just gotta figure out. It could happen faster than you think. It's okay, it could happen in two years, it could happen from three years from now. No, it could happen in a short amount of time with a lot of focus. And if you take this formula, figuring out your wealth, dividing that by your expenses, and it figuring out how much freedom you have now, you could turn this all around and go full time into real estate. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe below, smash the like button, and thank you so much again for watching and I will see you on the next video.